All right, let's watch this short video from Auntie Kemi. Um, her name is Kemi on TikTok and Facebook. Uh, not Kemi or something like that, you know. But let's watch it together. Uh, she talks about this uh, case. I think I heard Auntie B might be talking about this story too. I'm not sure if it's the same story. But let's just hear what she has to say about this and then uh, we dissect it once she's done. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. At this point, I think husband and wife, they need to understand the type of person their spouse is before they start planning on relocating abroad. They just have to start doing that now because people can be so mean. My husband sent um, a message to me, was it two days ago? I read it. I was like, no, this can't be true. And then later, I saw it on a blog i said so this thing is actually true guys i'm going to read it out to you for you to know that people can be so mean to each other not even people like husband and wife they can be so mean let me just read it to you they said husband you know beats the wife after a heated argument wife went ahead and called the police and reported in she also called home office to remove the hobby from his sewers. Husband, in turn, went to report her to NMC UK that her high LTS result was fake. Mm -hmm. NMC commenced investigation and they found her guilty. Hmm. They withdrew her from their register. Husband and wife are now back in Nigeria. And it is win-win situation for both of them. Can you imagine, guys? Win-win. The wife that is a nurse, <laughs> she must have decided from Nigeria, and then she's now in UK. Everything happened. She was withdrawn from the register, and then her license has been revoked. She can no longer work in UK as a registered nurse. So now that they are back in Nigeria, she will go and start from square one. And then the husband, the same thing. They don't even think, I don't know, maybe they've got children. They don't think about the future of their children. They don't think about even their own future. And then just because of one. And by the time, you know, maybe if we listen to what caused their current, it might be something that is so unreasonable. You see, husband and wife, I think it is now time for us to, to think about how we can work on our hunger. If there's something that is causing... Anyway. Go follow Auntie Kemi. I'll see if I have enough time to play the full video, right? But husband and wife, she's giving advices to husband and wife at the same time, okay? And most of the advices you're going to get on the internet will come in that form. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that um, you need to focus on you, okay? You need to focus on you, right? Because oftentimes when there's crisis, the point of leverage is one person okay uh trying to get everybody to be on the same page together from a preachy standpoint like just preaching to them is usually already too late and uh and also if you try to drag your partner to the table to come and talk that doesn't work too uh, you can just look around you or look go back into the past and look at every situation where you try to drag a person to come to the table to negotiate uh it didn't work particularly dragging them it, it just doesn't work you know i'd rather you focus on yourself we just finished talking about cardi b right and uh, we talked about the 50 50 thing and how the mindset of competition is not going to work so now we're talking about an extreme situation i guess we can call it extreme it's not that bad for them they only got deported after all they are alive <laughs> at least they are alive right but um, but think about it right um, this competition mindset thing starts with literally two things very very subtle small small things look at what somebody said in the comment here okay in the comment here somebody actually said in the comment of this video somebody actually said the man did well no grief for anybody <laughs> Nos Kemi said, really? <laughs> he shocked you. <laughs> Welcome to the internet. <laughs> right? Yep. Um, somebody said, congratulations to both of them. Okay? The moment you bring your wife to America, 
or Europe, her character changes due to the friends she makes. Hmm. It's interesting because they, they said both of them did them. Okay, let me rewind small. Let me go. Let me make sure I cover the story the way they said it. Let's see what she said. They start planning on relocating abroad. They just have to start doing that now because people can be so mean. My husband sends. Um, no, they plan before they relocate abroad, not scammy, they do. They just don't plan for conflict handling. They don't plan like, hey, they don't learn. Like even all you need to do is learn the theory of crisis and conflict handling. You don't have to, you don't have to go too far. Just be aware that there will be crisis and conflict sometimes. And in life, sometimes it will come from good intentions. Because when you're collaborating with another human being, there will be friction. That should be the expectations. But unfortunately, most people's expectations are off. That's why they are disappointed. Disappointment comes from unrealistic expectations. If you didn't have unrealistic expectations, there's no disappointment. Just think about it, right? So what they don't prepare for is crisis, conflict. What if we disagree? How do we handle disagreement? The only thing they do, they've had disagreement, they just argue. And then they start keeping malice with each other until somebody is tired. And then they are literally wasting life away. That's what most people do. Right? So it's not that they didn't plan. They just didn't plan for the right things. They Clearly, they planned to japa and they japa successfully. Right? Let's keep going. To me, was it two days ago, I read it. I was like, no, this can't be true. And then later, I saw it on a blog. I said, so this thing is actually true. Guys, I'm going to read it out to you. For you to know that people can be so mean to each other. Not even people, like husband and wife, they can be so mean. Let me just read it to you. They said, husband, you know, beat the wife after a heated argument. Wife went ahead and called the police. Called the police, reported him. reported him. She also called home office to remove the hobby from his COS. Husband, in turn, went to report her to NMC UK. Okay, so that man was reported to the police, whatever, and then he, in turn, reported her that they had fake paperwork of some sort. That a high LTS What is high LTS, UK people? Was fake. The result was NMC fake. Investigation. They started an investigation. They found her guilty. They found they her guilty. Her from their register. Husband and wife are now back in Nigeria. Okay, a small part of it sounds ma made up, but who knows? It doesn't matter, okay? The point here is that these two people are competing. They are literally doing the no grief for anybody. So not only does somebody actually think this makes sense in real life, they actually bring it into a relationship where they're supposed to be on the same page in oneness with another human being to do life. Does it make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Once you get caught up in your emotions, it starts to make sense. And that's a problem, right? And that's what you need to be aware of. Hey, once we get caught up in our emotions, so we, we just start to do basketballs and we're not thinking straight anymore we're literally trying to destroy ourselves right somebody said madam don't worry your head they already know themselves but their problem is they overlook you can't marry someone and tell me you don't know certain characters they have if your spouse is greedy say even worse okay even worse let's take this to another level a lot of people get married they don't know themselves now that is not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing is the reality for all of us you're not going to fix that by just acting holier than thou on the internet actually you make it worse because now that's pride that's creeping into you but you need to be aware that you're not capable of knowing yourself until you find yourself in certain situations if you are aware of that then you prepare just in case so i find out that i have another side of me oh, that gets angry unnecessarily i'm aware now i know i can ask for help Hey, this is because emotions no be your mate. But of course, the internet, they approach you from a standpoint of, I'm holier, I'm better. They don't say it like that, but they might as well just say it. 
Right. From Amebo, it was said that the lady was dating another guy and wanted the husband out of the way, but it backfired. And then <laughs> she said, Can you imagine? Uh, where is this news coming from? Anyway, the lesson here is competition. Don't do it. Okay. It's you. What you should be doing is looking, actively looking for ways. Okay. To be on the same page with your partner. That takes a lot of patience because sometimes the natural next thing you can think about is to bask both with that your partner right but if you're patient you realize that the devil is trying to use somebody right just calm down right the goal is to get them back on the same page with you it doesn't mean you're pandering it just means you take the time active listening you listen you're patient active listening you're patient active listening until you come to some kind of page sometimes it means you have to back off and take care of yourself first so you can have enough to give and then in that moment you're also teaching them to not take you for granted depending on your particular personal story it will depend on how you are that will make the difference on how it's applicable to you but that's really the reality if you ever conclude to a place where you must bask both compete with that person you will end up like this kind of people it might not be a fake story like people reporting themselves to the home security it might just be real life where you're hurting each other inside of the same house i'm just saying pay attention do me a favor hit the like button hit the like button share subscribe turn up your notifications let me see did i miss something chie chie said there we go again with that garbage yeah 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 <laughs> what was saying yeah 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 somebody says something i'm sure yeah yeah, yeah. anyway hit the like button share subscribe i'll be back in 20 seconds